Um, Earl Little. How talented is he? And uh, is the biggest decision going to be whether to keep him at, at slot corner or see what he can do at safety? How do you balance that? Oh man, very very talented, uh, physical football player. You know, injuries have hampered him his first two years in college, but you can see all the skills. He has all the tools to, to be an elite player. And you know, right now we're kind of easing him in. You know, he's not full contact yet, but when he gets full contact, you know, he's going to be a, a special player for us. Do you have to kind of like do the math about how good he would be at one position versus the other in terms of? Who else is going to be on the field in that position they won't be at? Yeah, for for now we're gonna uh, we're gonna keep him at the nickel back for now. Just just let him kind of master one position before you know we get the opportunity to move him around because you know we have, we have a room full of good players and we have guys that that could supplement at the other position. So right now you know we're we're gonna leave him at one until he, he gets that one right. Coach, Coach Norvell talked about coach to player communication. How much are you guys experimenting with that on the defensive side, and how has that kind of changed the way you guys work with spring practice? Oh, uh, it, it, it's something that, that that we're trying to get used to. Uh, you know, obviously it's going to be an, an adjustment because we, we're used to a certain things. It's going to be an adjustment for, for most of the college teams, you know, it, it, especially on defense because we're used to signaling things in. So I'm pretty sure guys will still look to the sideline and, 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 and get the, the, the play calls in. But uh, I think Coach Fuller and, and the staff is doing a, a good job of trying to implement that, you know, so far. How good can Azari be? I know he took a big jump from freshman to sophomore, and then even out here today, it looks like he might have taken even another jump. Yeah, I had a hell of a first day. Uh, like I tell people all the time, he's a pro. You know, he he approaches everything like a pro as far as, you know, the classroom, the, the meeting rooms, how he come out here and handle his business, you know, his attention to detail. So he's a guy who I'm looking to, who I'm looking forward to take a major jump this year and become an all-conference, all-American player. Who else outside of AZ like really stood out to you about that the whole secondary? I thought a bunch of people had good days. I thought Fentrell had a really good day. Uh, Shaheem has played a lot of balls for us, played over 900 snaps for us last year. Uh, Devontae, he, he got to get get in there with, with some of the starters. Uh, Gree, a veteran player, and uh, Quindarius Jones. You know, he's he's a guy who, who's <laughs> he's, he's really good. He's really good. Once he gets things together, you know, on and off the field, he's going to be a guy to watch. So, you know, a lot of guys are really excited about the group. Uh, we have a lot of guys who, who can play a lot of good football for us. And if you know me, I, I like to play good football players. So it don't matter if it's seven guys or ten guys. I want to play the, the best football players. And uh, I, I think we have a room full of them. What are those, those things that Quindarius has to unlock? I mean, he looks like he's like 6'5 out there. He's yeah. so aggressive. I mean, what are the things he has to unlock to, to be reliable? Oh, uh, just, just another year of growth, you know, there's a reason why a lot of true freshmen don't, don't don't play in college football because it's a huge adjustment, especially you know where he come from. He he just played cat coverage. The coach put him on that game and said, "You have that cat." He did that the whole game. So just learn the, the, the nuances of playing defense, playing big time college football. He has all the physical tools. He's long. He's fast. He's athletic. He can get in and out of his breaks. He has good ball skills. So it's just learning the nuances of the defense and taking that next step in, in maturation. Is he got an outside primarily? Oh, yeah, absolutely. He, that's, that's the kind of guys you look for in our type of defense. You want long, physical guys on the outside to play, you know, bump and run coverage, and he's one of those guys. Uh, first day of practice with so many new guys, do you try to teach them then, or do you wait till later when you watch them when they're doing things you do? Yeah, you kind of let them you, – you, you got to let them go through it, and then as we, you know, make the corrections and watch it with them, let them learn from that, from that angle. You don't want to just jump them on the field and – because you, you have more reps to go. So my, my, my method of teaching, yeah, you want to kind of talk it over on the sideline with them, but you want to correct it in the field room. Let, let them watch themselves, and I think that's how guys get better. How cool is it having Bernardo and Jari and those guys back and interacting with the program? It's great, man, just to see, you know, how far those, those guys have come, and now they have an opportunity to, to you know, change their families' lives, you know, with, with the upcoming NFL draft. Even Akeem came back and – you know, all the guys came back. It, it just goes to show you how special this place is, that the guys want to be here, want to be around the guys, and uh, just just be a big brother to the, the guys coming back. And I think the guys who are here, they see that, and it, it pushes them to another level to want to reach that point. Some, some of your guys have a lot of 
swagger about him? Do you like that? I do as a DB, you have to have that. You know, we're we're the last line of defense. We get blamed for everything. We you, you see the touchdown pass and oh, of course it's a DB. You see a three, four yard run, oh nothing. But you see the long touchdown pass, it's one of us. So you have to have that mentality as a DB. And you know, it, it's hard playing that position, probably the hardest position on the field to play, especially, you know, in, in our type of defense. You gotta play man to man most of the time and you know those guys are up to the challenge, man, doing a hell of a job so far. He's a leader, man. He's a leader. He gets everybody lined up. He's been in defense uh, for, for, for three years, and he's another guy who I want to see take the next step. And, and so far in, in tour duties and in this offseason program, his, his body looks better. He's, he's communicating better. He, he's moving better than he ever has. And I think he's a guy who's going to have a, a, a really big year for us. Appreciate it. Yep.